Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love Our Life. Today we're going to do some more Epic Universe construction updates. This one's going to be a little faster because we do have family in town this week, but I just wanted to find a little bit of time to sit down and go over these with you. We have a few of them and they're pretty big ones, so let's not delay any further. Let's get into them right now and talk about this. The first thing we've got here is an aerial photo of the Portal to the Dark Universe and the Blue Dragon Pan-Asian Restaurant, uh, which you can see here at the top of the photo. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this because the biggest thing we're going to talk about uh, today is Donkey Kong. And uh, of course, here is what we're going to talk about. This is the Donkey Kong coaster, but this is the barrel that has been placed on the track. Now, we've been talking about this in the last two or three videos where the barrel has actually been off of the track. But now they have placed it up on the track. They have painted it and have it colored the brown and white on there uh, with the black strips around there. And then I believe that there's supposed to be an arrow just like the old video game on there too. I don't know if we're gonna see that in, in these, but also um, I know that BioReconstruct did these. And once again, thank you BioReconstruct for the photos. Next video, I'm gonna make sure I say it at the very beginning. But thank you so much for those and everything that he does. It's amazing. Here's another look at him here. Uh, you can see the barrel going in here. This is the lift going up uh, here on the coaster. So that way, uh, as you're going up on the coaster, it'll be like you're passing through the barrel and they're going to shoot you out, which is going to be really cool. Uh, below right is a pair of green of uh, the screaming pillars. We talked about that last week. Uh, they have placed some more here, which looks really good. I'm glad that they are doing this and getting everything ready to go. And then here is another look here. Now you can see the scaffolding that is here in the yellow. This is where the Donkey Kong face or the character face is going to go right here in the yellow section. So they're just building that up. They have the scaffolding up. They just haven't actually put the theming on it yet. And that will be coming in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I don't know what their schedule is, but I would assume that they have it all painted, they have it all in place, so it looks like it's, you know, the next thing that they're probably going to do for that. Okay, and we have another photo here. We have some construction workers working over here. They're trying to put everything in place. You can see kind of right here in the middle, which is very interesting, where the coaster kind of goes, uh, looks like the track is going to break off, and it actually goes down into the pit there. So it's going to be very cool, very fun interactive uh, way for it to look like the old Donkey Kong game where it looks like the track is broken uh, but you can see how it how it goes there so it looks like it looks like you're gonna go off into nothing and then obviously the real track will pick up afterwards which is pretty cool so very excited about that and another photo here we're spending a lot of time on Donkey Kong but I wanted to show these you can see the track here at the back it looks like these missing parts it looks like another part where it's going to actually jump here so this is like actually doesn't look like it's the beginning of the ride or the launch here i'm not really sure on that if you guys know let me know down in the comments um on that one i've not done a lot of research on on this one in particular but um that is pretty cool how they're lining up there with that and then here's a wide angle and we can kind of see it here uh, here is the monkey face in the top left hand corner you can see him just chilling out there and then you see the barrel right there in the middle uh, and that's where it's gonna come down there and around and you see the track how it goes back behind the show building there so I mean it looks really good I am amazed so far what we're getting here so I cannot wait for that um, I think the thing about this one though most importantly is that what we're gonna get here is this whole thing of the theming being uh, very much like the old school thing. And one more thing I wanted to point out is that there is no arrow on the barrel yet. That may come later. Uh, I do know the one in Japan that I've seen, it does have the uh, arrow on the barrel, just like old school. It's another photo here showing you that. And we'll kind of just move on as we're going to look at another aerial photo here. 
as well. Looks good, can't complain. And then down here you can see construction workers working. Uh, similar trestles have been placed at the ground level. A stone wall is being created at the left. So they're starting to build that up there. So like we keep saying, little, little by little, it's being built and being done where it's going to be by this time in six months. I don't know. It's going to look impressive. I think they're on track. I don't think they're going to be delayed or anything like that. This is a really good shot of up above it. Um, you can kind of see everything that you need to see here. Looks really good and how they've spaced everything out. So that looks great. And then one more there. And then, of course, we can keep going here. Um, and it looks like uh, an aerial photo here of theming starting on a, a wall outside of Maintenance Bay of Yoshi's Adventure. Uh, similar work in progress on the wall beneath Mount Beanpole. So they're just kind of doing some things that you know behind the scenes things here and here's a look at the actual coaster itself uh, Donkey Kong coaster crates and barrels are number one uh, wooden wall at the same rocks number two trestle theming at a break run uh, number three is the screaming pillars that we talked about before and four is uh, theming starting on a kiosk down there so they are working towards it it's looking good now this is kind of built up here as well you can see this wall here looks really good everything that they're doing um, and then of course here's another wide shot I told you we're gonna spend a lot of time on Donkey Kong today and I felt like this is kind of the most progressive thing if I get more time this week I'll come back and do another video on everything else but let's skip ahead a little bit let's talk about everything else going on so here's a look at Super Nintendo World from a wide shot here you can see everything here with the barrel in the background with mount beanpole and front and center uh, they're still working on bowser's castle if you notice down to the left though where there's a construction worker uh right down there at the bottom left and it looks like there's a doorway you kind of see how it's got an m shape to that and that's going to be going into bowser's castle area looking good there of course they still have the yoshi characters covered up they we have seen them in several of the videos we've made here where they have been uncovered but they have recovered them so um, it's something that they keep doing on and off again is uncovering them and recovering them so I mean it's just kind of one of those things like it is what it is here's a look at the castle here you can see at the bottom we talked about this last week how Bowser's claws are starting to form at the bottom of the scaffolding there no Bowser face yet, but you can see that the claws are starting to form there at the bottom. If you look right here at the bottom of the blue scaffolding, and here's that little M area that I was talking about in the previous photo. Back on the other side, we have a uh, <laughs> some more theming over here, piranha plant on top there. This is looking on the other side, and you can actually see the claws Bowser's Claws at the bottom, a little bit better here at the bottom of the scaffolding there. Looks really good. And then this is Peach's Castle. This is the other way around. Piranha Plant there at the top, just planted. Um, they're starting to get all the groundwork done. They haven't laid pavement down at the bottom yet. It's still all dirt down there, so they haven't done that yet. Um, so it's just kind of like one of those things that they're adding layers each time we see it but they're not quite there yet um, and it's to be expected I think that they're really going to get moving here um, really fast and you know I think we're gonna get a opening date within the next couple of months um, number one uh, theming element stage here at the bottom number two exterior theming similar at Mount Beanpole and three is the piranha plant right there so looking good I mean everything that they've got right here everything we have to show there's so much more to show you guys um, unfortunately I don't have a ton of time today to do this with family in town but I wanted to go over here and show you guys this we talked about pizza moon last in the last video uh, here is a look at the Nintendo store with pizza moon at the right so at the center is the um, 
Nintendo store and Pizza Moon will be here to the right, kind of where the awning is, or not the awning, but the overhead is right there. Um, that's where Pizza Moon is going to be. I'm excited about that because uh, who doesn't want a Mario themed pizza place? Um, that just looks really good. And here's the overall aerial photo of everything there. I think it looks great. It's really cool um, with everything that they've got going on. And we're going to end here with showing you this. This is Super Nintendo World looking out towards Celestial Park where you can see the carousel out here. And uh, the theming is really coming together. And I guess I could show you one more photo here of the actual Celestial Park. And here's uh, the Wizarding World here. That's the uh, Elder One there. And then the back wall there with the portal. Um, but yeah, they've done so much. There's so many things to talk about with all this. And overall, they're they're trying to you know go as fast as they can, obviously. But it's going to take time. So now you know they're just saying 2025. They're not saying summer 2025 anymore, um, which doesn't mean that it's going to be delayed. It could mean earlier. Um, I'm leaning towards May or June of next year most likely uh, that that's it's gonna open could be wrong you know it could be totally completely wrong but um, I, I think that's when it'll be open by then but um, there's tons of stuff as I'm going through the photos here that we can look at I'm gonna save that for a video later this week uh, hopefully I'll get that out for you like I said our schedule is kind of crazy right now uh, you guys will get a regular vlog uh later on today we're gonna put out two today uh and you guys will enjoy that one it's pretty cool but um real quick before i sign off here's a look at the restaurant here that's going to be the aquatica restaurant there well it's not you know atlantic restaurant not aquatica restaurant and then overhead here as well looking good it's looking really good anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here please consider subscribing hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out because we're doing these every week until epic universe opens so thank you guys so much and remember the row goes ever on i will see you next time